How's it going guys? I'm now bringing you my final video for the trade deadline. This is the trade that got Paul Stasty to the Winnipeg Jets. Really surprising trade honestly. Did not expect St. Louis to do this. As you can see in game they're considered a contender. Uh, Winnipeg is considered a champion. Uh, but still, you wouldn't expect a contender to trade away one of their top six forwards. But as it turns out, St. Louis just rather get the picks for Stastny than have him walk in free agency, even though they are a very good team. I know a lot of people wanted Toronto to do this with JVR. So it's an interesting strategy. Uh, they have fallen out of the playoffs um, lately. I think they're like ninth or 10th right now in the West. Um, so, I mean, we'll see. Like last year they did this with Shattenkirk, still made the playoffs. I don't know, though. West is so tight. Um, they might end up missing, in which case it's a pretty solid deal. So, Paul Stastny here, obviously a solid player. 31 years old, 83 overall. Uh, top 6 for potential there. Roll there, second line forward. On the Jets, he's either going to be second or third line center. Uh, Little will then be the third if he goes to second. Obviously, Shifley, first line center. Uh, drafted second round 2005 by the Avs, making $7 million for one more year. Now, the Blues did retain 50% of his salary. Just to make the trade easier, I guess for the Jets. And honestly guys, looking at what the Jets gave up, I don't think it's that bad of a trade at all for them. Uh, they're going to be so stacked and now going to the playoffs. I know last time they were in the playoffs, what was it, two years ago, uh, they got swept in a single game. I do not see that being the case this year. Uh, they have such a good team. So uh, the first thing they gave up was a 2018 first, but if they go on a run, that'll be like a late first anyway. Then they go up Eric Foley. Now he's a college player, so he's not in the game. I looked it up. He was a 2015 third round pick. So basically the closest thing to that is either Spacek or Harkins. Spacek's a 2015 fourth, Harkins 2015 second. They have like the exact same value. So he'd probably be valued around there. Medium top nine four potential. And then they also gave up a conditional 2020 fourth. So many conditional picks I found at this deadline. Now the condition on that pick is if the Blues resign fully, then the Jets keep their fourth. But if they do not, uh, then they get the Jets fourth. It's kind of weird though, as like they're going to have him in their system for at least two more years. And then they'll have the option to resign him. So... We'll just add it, who cares, we'll just have it as the first, um, pretend he's Foley, and then the fourth there, for Stastny, at 50% retain. I feel like even though the value's on our side, the Blues are going to say no because of that 50% retention. We'll take a look here though. Oh uh, yeah, trade rejected, doesn't meet their block. Also, like, they're contenders, so the computer AI is probably thinking, why would we trade away Stastny? We have a good team, we're trying to make, you know, the playoffs. So, I definitely kind of expected that, even though I think it was a very fair trade on both sides so we'll now try it from the blues perspective i think it might go through let's find out and now guys we're gonna try to trade from st louis perspective and one thing i noticed too uh st louis is definitely more worried about the future than right now uh kind of shown with the shattenkirk trade last year stasty this year and like the core of their team is pretty young and they have a bunch of really good young prospects coming up like you can see tarasenko petrangelo schwartz pareko shen all in their mid-20s Tage Thompson here, he's going to be a player, maybe even as soon as next year. Uh, Cost, and they got last year's draft, he's solid. Um, Steen's getting older, he's one of their older players for sure, but Fabry, Barbashev, um, Bomeister's older, Schmaltz is young, and then like they even have other guys that are way undervalued, like Robert Thomas, I think's a top six, not a top nine. Uh, down here too, where is he? Um, he's way, way undervalued in this game. Cairo, he's an absolute beast. Leading the OHL in scoring, I think he had like 100 points last year, and he's leading in scoring with 10 less games played. Was amazing at World Juniors. Bottom six four potential makes no sense. He could honestly be a medium elite in my opinion. He looks so good, at least medium top six. So just kind of looking at all that depth they have. Um, St. Louis is gonna be scary in a couple years. The only I guess X factor for them is their goaltending. Um, I think Hutton and Allen are not gonna you know win you a Stanley Cup. And Fitzpatrick, is he good enough to be a starter? And will he be good enough? by the time, like, you know, the core of that team is ready to compete. If not, maybe they trade for Carey Price or something. I don't know. But anyways, we'll get back to the Stassi trade. Just wanted to share that with you guys. That was pretty interesting just to see kind of maybe the plan they're going for. Like, I didn't realize just how many good prospects they had, as well as just actually how young that core is with Tarasenko, Shen, Schwartz, etc. So Stassi here at 50%. We're going to ask for, I guess, the full package from the Jets to start off, and then we'll lower it. So the 2018 first was on the block. And then is a 2024, and we'll put in spot check again in place of Foley. So um, looks like the value is on the Jets side, but we have 50% retain on Stastny, which again doesn't add any value, even though it should be uh, shown. We'll see what they say. Trade rejected. Okay, so we'll try. Who's got more value? So the fourth's got. We'll try, I guess, without the fourth first. See if they do the first and spot check. They do not. So let's try um, just the first there and the fourth. Looks like this actually might go through. So in real life. If they don't resign fully for whatever reason, this could actually be the trade. And the Jets might actually say yes to this. Trade accepted. Okay, so the Jets actually accepted it. So I guess this shows in the game, the Jets won slightly as the computer Jets team was willing to accept that, where the Blues wouldn't accept 
any of the offers. And again, I think it has to do with them being a contender, uh, not wanting to trade away Stastny. But in my opinion, I think it's a good trade for both teams. Although I do find it questionable, you know, uh, the Blues kind of quitting, I guess, like two points out of the playoffs. But it worked for them last year, trading Shattenkirk. They still made it. So we'll see if that happens for them again this year. And the Jets now with Stasty are honestly so stacked. Like, look at their center depth here. Shifley, Stastny, Little, and I guess Lowry will be their fourth line center, even though he's injured right now. So I think Roslovich is playing fourth line center. And just forwards in general, they got Line A, Ehlers, Kyle Connor. Like, they're going to be scary. So, uh, can't wait for the playoffs to start. See how good all these teams are after the trade deadline. What do you guys think about the trade? Let me know in the comments section. Other than that, thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up. This is the last trade deadline video. Hope you guys enjoyed them. Have a nice day, guys. Goodbye.